Hi guys, welcome back to Jim and Jay's final say. No Jim this week, so it's just me, Jay. Jim's already done his immediate reaction after the game, which you'll find on the Palace Fan TV YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, share, do what you need to do, comment as well. So I'm just going to look back at the Southampton game. In hindsight, following day, not a great loss, to be quite honest with you. A bit disappointing, mixture of fringe players, first team players. Always difficult to decide what's going to happen and what Parge is going to do. I think he played more first team players than many of us actually uh, thought he would. So unlucky, I think, in places. A bit of an error between Delaney and Speroni for the first goal. Two dubious decisions which Parge actually uh, alluded to in his press conference. Um, I think it's tighter than perhaps the, uh, the actual final score showed. We were in the game in the first half. Just disappointing to go in 1 0 down at half time through that mistake. Um, I don't think Samson were actually 4-1 better than us really. You look at statistics, I don't, they don't always mean an awful lot, but I think we had a lot more in the game. I thought I'd go in the first half, I had a great effort but fired it straight at the keeper. Second half, great to see Punch and score an excellent goal again, but by that time we were already 2-0 down. Um, third goal, penalty, dubious. It's, it goes against you sometimes, doesn't it? But it wasn't our strongest team. Um, and obviously we had one eye on the cup final uh, this weekend, which Obviously something to look forward to, but with our injury record this season, you can understand why Paiju was a little bit uh, concerned about playing certain players, i.e. Scott Dan had a break, Wilf didn't play, Yannick Balassi. So hopefully everybody's going to be fit. Just uh, this afternoon that uh, Connor Wickham's announced himself fully fit for the cup final, so that's great. Um, finish 15th in the table. Well, it could be 16th if Bournemouth uh, beat United at Old Trafford in that odd rearranged game. We all know what happened, so I'm not going to talk over talk about that um, but FA Cup final that's what it's all about now build up all week um, gonna be exciting I think 26 years pretty much to when we last played in the Cup final I remember it so well didn't think I'd see Palace in the Cup final again to be quite honest um, obviously lost that one so many um, common things between the two games connections but uh, another one is that we finished 15th that season and we could well finish uh, likely to finish 15th in the league this season so just one more connection to go along with everything else for the cup final but I'm not alone in, in really looking forward to it atmosphere is going to be absolutely fantastic just hope we can go one better um, let's just hope we can with this team it's been a terrible run of form in 2016 let's hope we can end it on a high um, a lot of chatter on social media about the summer and what needs to happen and next season but you know, let's just think about the cup final. It doesn't come around very often for a team like Palace, so let's uh, go there and enjoy it and uh, make sure we're loud and proud as usual. Um, thanks for watching. This is the last one of the Premier League season, so uh, make sure you subscribe, share Palace Fan TV all across social media, Twitter, Facebook and Snapchat. We'll be back, no doubt, next week for a review of the cup final and to sign off for the season. So thanks for watching, thanks for all your support during the season and we'll catch you uh, after the cup final. Uh, come on, you Eagles.